This is the shift register random CVs mode on the Disting Mark III. Uh, let me plug this in so it starts doing its stuff. X is a clock input. The random CVs are being generated on every clock. If I change the frequency of that, you'll hear them changing more often. Um, y is a force modify input to force the sequence to change, and A and B are the random CV outputs. Z sets the likelihood of the pattern changing, so you'll hear at this point that the pattern is changing pretty much constantly. If I change that, it'll become, it'll tend to stay the same more. Until I wind it up enough that all those lights flash to indicate it's in the locked zone, and now the pattern is locked as a repeating pattern of eight notes. Which you can hear there. If I unlock it, it'll start to change. Let's lock it again. So the parameters you have to play with here are quite useful. The first one sets the um, direction that the register is rotating, which tends to produce a different sounding pattern. So you can hear that there. Without unlocking it, if I change that to the reverse direction, You can hear that. Put it back. The second parameter is the length of the ship register. So this is the number of notes in this in this loop. So if I put that down, say, to four. And it's managed to evolve to a pattern of everything being the same. So let's just let that change. And lock it again. You see, now we've got a four-step sequence. So let's put that right at the default 8, because it usually sounds quite nice. And the next parameter is the slew rate. So... It's ever more smooth. That's a nice way to get smooth random CVs rather than jumpy ones. So there you go, shift register random CVs.